Let me show you how to make an I chord. First thing you're going to do is you're going to cast on the number of stitches you need, usually between three and five. I've cast on four. Then you're going to knit those stitches. You're going to do this on a double pointed needle or on a circular needle. So I'm doing it on double pointed, obviously. Just knit a row. When you get to the end of the row, you're going to slide the stitches to the end, other end of the double pointed needle. So your working yarn is on the left hand side. You're then going to start knitting that row again and you're going to, using the working yarn, you're going to just start knitting and you're going to pull it tight. knit that row. Then you're going to slide the stitches down to the other end of the double pointed needle again. And again, you're just going to knit, making sure the first stitch is you're holding the yarn tight. You're going to knit all stitches. And you're going to keep repeating this process, sliding the stitches to the other end and knitting the stitches until the I cord is as long as you need it to be. So after you've knit a bunch of rows of I cord, made it as long as it needs to be, you can turn it over and you'll see that it actually looks like a cord. So there's no, it's not flat knitting anymore. Um, you can see at the top that it, there's flat stitches. And then you can see that it really becomes a cord because of the way that you're knitting it. And that's how you make I cord.